Hey Capricorn, so welcome to Tower on the Hill. Welcome to your mid-month reading. Happy birthday. Did you feel me? Wish me a happy birthday too. All right, cool. Team Capricorn in the his house. <laughs> All right, I come to you humbly. Thanking you for your divine guidance. Providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Capricorn Collective needs to know for the rest of the month? Thank you. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, I have me on IG. That's Tarot and Heal. I do personalized readings, so check out my info box. You'll see some uh, a link to my merch. Be true to yourself. So you'll see a link to my merch as well as the personalized readings. I do love and career readings. All right, cool. End of shameless plug. You get it. Your caps. You get it. All right, what's up? Do all things in moderation. Holy cow. What are you guys up to? So while I was meditating on your energy, I did see a bear. Like the a bear. You know, like a grizzly. I don't know what that's about. I feel like, and then a devil energy popped out as well. I feel like you guys are definitely stepping into your power. You're feeling more in your power. You're feeling more like yourself, rather. All right? Either you're feeling challenged to step more into your authentic self or you're just already feeling there. Um, everyone is different. This is a general reading, right? But that is a theme of the rest of the month here. Stepping into your authentic self. Being true to your heart. Being true to your feelings. Honoring your feelings. All right. All right, so we have this. Oh, <laughs> we have the star and the empress coming out here. Yeah, you guys are in your power. All right, you're in your power, or you're being, um, you're on your way to being in your power. We do have the star card here, which is a card of a wish fulfillment. It can also indicate healing. All right, it can also indicate having talents that you're giving to the world. All right, with this empress energy, you're sitting, you're sitting pretty. You know, you're sitting balanced in your feminine energy. All right, you have your feminine and your masculine energy. You can be a male or female, whatever. You might be just more in your receptive energy, taking in inspiration, all right? As opposed to more of the emperor energy, which is more aggressive. Oh, we have the page of pentacles here. Yeah, I don't see much. I don't think you guys are acting. I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you're more in a receptive mode. You're accepting the healing. You're accepting the inspiration. You're accepting the intuitive hits from the universe. You know, you're preparing. You're preparing yourself. But I don't see much action as of yet. It's a time to act and there's a time to stay still. Okay? And you guys are listening to that and staying still. All right? Doing all things in moderation here. All right. So you have the three of cups here. In reverse, I don't know if you guys feel like you might be in a social circle that's not cooperative. We do have the five of swords here. There is some type of, um, hmm, there's some type of, uh, sneaky energy going on. This is a, a, a card of conflict here. Aquarius energy. Hmm. It's some type of conflict here. Huh. It might be a conflict within your social circle. There's a conflict that's stopping you from feeling happy. All right, we do have the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling fed up. The Queen of Pentacles is your energy, but you're feeling fed up about it. You're not feeling, you're not feeling like yourself, and you're trying to. Oh, okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a card of single, loving it, independent, all that good stuff. So it seems as if you're trying. You're trying to get there. All right. That is the theme. So if some of you might already be there and you're coming out of this energy of, you know, this nasty, whatever, social circle energy or whatever. Now, this could be family, friends, job, you know, relationships, of course. Um, but yeah, whatever it is, you guys are coming out of it. You guys are coming out of it and you have to heal. In healing, you might feel the need to be left alone um, so that you can lick your wounds, you can heal, you can reassess, you can adjust, course correct as needed. All right. Mm. We do have the Ace of Pentacles. 
some of you guys probably feel like there's something on the horizon with the Ace of Pentacles here. This is like a gift from the universe. Some of you guys feel like something is coming and you're like preparing yourself. You're cleaning house. And, and you know what? That's the energy of everyone right now. Everyone's cleaning house. You, we're, the universe is kind of forcing us to. All right. So you're stepping into your energy. You're preparing. Like I said before, you are preparing before you go for this offer. Now, this can be a job offer. This can be a love offer. This can be just a gesture, something within your 3D realm, in your environment. Hmm, okay. Let's get more into it. We do have the magician at the bottom of the, de of the deck here. All right, so you guys are stepping into your power, but you haven't gotten there yet. You haven't gotten there yet. You haven't implemented it. You haven't asserted yourself. Because right now, you're still dealing with this kind of nasty energy. And I want to just get into that. Why is this five of swords here? Because that is in the center of the deck. Somebody's stealing your joy. Is that what's happening? Mm -mm. Hold on. What's going on with this five of swords? Ah, uh, okay. Somebody's getting an intuitive hit here. You're getting an intuitive hit about someone being uh, sneaky or something like that. What else is going on here? Oh, jeez. For some of you, some of you guys, it might be a masculine figure. All right. Keep in mind, this could be a man or a woman, whatever. All right. It's just the energy that they're embodying. But you're getting an intuitive hit about somebody being this energy of the five of swords. This can be sneaky. It can be a lose lose situation. It's a conflict that you have to just walk away from without much of a solution here. Some of you guys might feel like you're in a stalemate energy with someone and it's kind of zapping your joy at this point. Some of you guys are feeling fed up. And don't know what to do. You, it seems like you guys want to actually be in hermit mode. You want to crawl under a rock and just chill there. You know, just don't want to be left alone. Especially coupled with this Nine of Pentacles energy. Like I said, this is about being happy by yourself. And this card is definitely Lonersville here. <laughs> Some of you guys feel the need to just take a beat, to be alone. Four of Cups here. Some of you guys feel like you missed out on an opportunity. An opportunity was missed of some sort. You might feel like someone stole an opportunity from you. Holy cow. Secretly, someone feels like they someone stole an opportunity for, from them. And it's disempowering. Interesting. Hmm. What else is going on with the Five of Swords here? Because I feel like this is what's... This is what's taking up all the energy. This is what's stopping you from stepping into your own power. All right. Okay. We have the five of pentacles. Yeah. Someone's trying to get out of this energy of feeling loss, feeling a loss, feeling left out in the cold. There's a lot of fixed energy here. It's kind of hard for someone to get over it. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the justice card. All right. In reverse. Someone feels like they were done wrong. And that's what's holding you up. Let's see what's going on with this three of cups. You have the King of Pentacles coming out, along with the Queen of Wands. Jeez. So the Queen of Wands is kind of a bitter energy, all right? The King of Pentacles is the energy of someone who's kind of controlling, all right? And then it's coming out with this Three of Cups here. Now, I don't know if there's a third-party situation going on here, um, but someone's just not happy. Someone's not happy. More than not happy, someone's feeling bitter. Now, I will say the Queen and the King of Pentacles is on the board here, all right? But now we have this Queen of Wands. I don't know if someone's feeling like someone stole someone from them. Okay, let's see what's going on. Why is this Three of Cups here? It's something with the matters of the heart. Do you feel like someone stole your heart? Someone stole the key to your happiness? Someone's bitter because they feel like somebody took something from them. Mm. A chance. Something's dying and someone feels bitter about it. Someone's feeling bitter because something is dying. It's something with the matter of the heart. Now, this can, if this is a, a love reading, obviously this could be a relationship, right? Someone's afraid. I mean, somebody's feeling really upset and it's, it's unsettling, all right? It's more than just being upset. It's unsettling to them that this is actually happening, all right? They're feeling lost. They're feeling a loss and they're kind of feeling like it's not fair, Somebody's feeling like something stole this situation from them.
it's disempowering. Do you feel like, does someone feel like someone stole their, um, stole their power? We do have the devil card coming out here with the queen of pentacles in reverse, along with the temperance card. And then the eight of wands. There's a need to, you know, tap into your intuition here. Someone's tapping into some very, like, shadow energy with this. Um, it started off with healing and in the middle, it's just like, someone's just really going through the ringer. But I feel like it will come up to this point of healing. It will get to, to this point of healing. You have to go through all those queens to become an empress, right? Some of you guys are going through the ringer a little bit, but you know that the end result is your healing, all right? Some of you guys do need to take some time out to yourself. Why is the hermit card here? You have the towel card in reverse. Yeah, with the justice card, someone's trying to make things, oh my gosh, someone is really trying to make things right. With the justice card in reverse, the towel card in reverse, and then a sun card in reverse, someone's just simply not happy. And they just want to get away and be in their little corner, in their bubble. Now, I just hope that somebody's not just wallowing in self-pity because now it's starting to feel like that. All right? Now, keep in mind, this could be you or someone else. If this resonates with you, then then I'm talking to you. All right? But someone, it feels like someone's wallowing. They're not taking this easy. They're not taking this. They're not taking this. They're not trying to take it. They're just like, no, this is not fair. This is not right. It's some type of long-term, long-standing situation. Long-standing situation. Someone might have came through and said something to um, put someone in hermit mode, to put someone in this mode. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and a feminine energy is here with the Nine of Pentacles. Wanting to just be single, be free, be alone, be to the, be single and happy and loving it. Because whatever is happening here with this King of Pentacles energy, which is someone who is like kind of, um, could be like a little bit uh, controlling a little bit, all right? With the Queen of Wands here, someone's controlling and bitter. This could be your energy or this could be the other person's energy. This could be the other person's energy. They might be feeling like they want to, oh... Wow. This person might see you stepping into Empress energy and now they're responding with this bitter controlling energy here. And they're doing whatever it takes to to stay, to not feel left out, feeling left out in the cold. They don't want to feel like they're missing out on an opportunity here. So they're doing things. And this and this energy is no bueno. No bueno. Me no likey. All right, I don't like this. Why's the Empress here? Yeah, your intuition is telling you what's going on. You're not moving on from it. This is a soulmate. It's a soulmate, so it's hard to move on from. All right, you're not following your intuition in this situation, and you're not moving on. But you are standing here like the Empress, and this person doesn't like it, and that's why they're being disempowering. They're being bitter. Like this is like competition in a relationship type of thing. This could be competition in a workplace too. So keep that in mind. Obviously, I go straight to the love because most of these are love readings. But this can mo definitely, definitely be um, a reading about a rela um, a co-workers. You know, someone who's bitter about you shining. You know, and so they're trying to take digs and take at your power. Um, or they're trying to take opportunities away from you. All right? That is not cool. Not cool. I don't like it. Mm -mm. All right. Let's see. What are the blockages here? See, as someone is shining and be being true to themselves, someone's trying to take away from your power, Capricorn. Uh-uh. All right. What are the blockages? Too many cards. Someone's not making a decision, though, on this person. The blockage, justice. Something has to be made right by making a decision in, in dealing with this person, all right? If you if this is resonating with you, then you already know who it is, okay? Now, if it didn't happen yet, because obviously this is a, it can be now or next month, who knows, right? If this does, whenever this does happen, the, the way you make it right, once your intuition starts telling you who this person is, the only way to make it right is, make it, is to make a judgment call to leave them behind, all right? Somebody's feeling trapped. Holy cow, someone's feeling trapped. 
Someone's feeling trapped and they want to move. They want to move with this uh, nine of cups, this nine of cups energy, which is an energy of like going for your wish fulfillment, the thing that you want, that you really desire, whatever it is. And it seems like some of you guys just want to be in hermit mode. You want to be out of this conflicting energy, whatever that is. But you're feeling trapped for some reason. You have to make a judgment call. You are not trapped. Hmm. What are they failing to see here? High Priestess, once again, your intuition is trying to show you. It's trying to guide you to a brand new perspective. All right? It's guiding you into a brand new perspective. It's up to you to actually listen to your intuition here. All right? There's a whole lot of heavy spiritual energy here. They're trying to let you know who's doing what, who's stealing whatever opportunities from you, who's the one talking crap about you at your job, what uh, if some, if a spouse is acting weird, you know, why they're acting that way. If it's a family member, whatever it is, your intuition is letting you know exactly who it is, all right? Or they will. And it's going to change your perspective. Until you actually listen to your intuition, everything will be in suspension. You'll be in limbo. You know, you, you'll be in purgatory, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, seven of swords. Someone's being nasty. Someone's being nasty. And we have the five of cups here. Someone's being nasty because they're feeling, um, they might be feeling some regret, remorse, shame, guilt whatever they're being triggered by their own uh, nasty energy whatever their low vibe energy is is pushing they're projecting it on you all right so sometimes when people start shining when people start shining it this happens it's unfortunate because it seems like it's happening to someone that might be nearby someone that that you know but the thing is, when you start shining, it, it reflects on them what they're doing and what they're not doing. So it just seems as if somebody's getting triggered by your shine. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. All right, what's that advice? You got to let go of this conflict. Let go and move on fast with this Knight of Arrows here. Move on fast. Once your intuition starts telling you who it is, back up. All right, advice. Mm -hmm. because they're disempowering you that's what's on the line you know i don't know about you but for me sometimes if i'm like yeah and then the temperance card at the bottom of the deck okay um your intuition's there but sometimes like if i just if somebody's hating i'm just like you know what, whatever I don't, I don't give a shit you know but it's sometimes when people are actually hating and actively hating you know and they're taking your power away they're disempowering you intentionally that's when it's, it's it's like, yeah, you got to go. You got to go. Get 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 out my energy, all right? Man, this is pissing me off. <laughs> all right, let's get this animal spirit energy going on here. What's going on? What, ener what power uh, animal energy can we embody for the rest of January? So many cards. Mm -hmm. That's some bullshit. Canary spirit, sing your own song, baby. That's all that matters. You keep on shining. Keep being authentic. Be true to yourself. All right? And that's it. Because you're out here. You're making your dreams real. And just because you're making your dreams real, it's going to trigger some people. It just happens. Every time you level up, people are going to be triggered. All right? Whoever is acting this way, it's unfortunate. This one is an unfortunate one, but it's, it is what it is. Watch your words here. Now, the thing is, I, I see this is like kind of mirroring do all things in, in moderation. Um, the thing is, whoever this person is, your intuition is letting you know, right? This person probably doesn't realize that your intuition is telling them this, right? Watch your words here. Be graceful. Just be grateful that your intuition is letting you know and move along gracefully. You don't want to mess up your karma by being all bitter, you know, because there was some type of weird bitter energy there. All right. So don't let their stank, <laughs> their their bitter energy rub off on you. You come out of that unscathed. All right. Watch your words and just keep it moderate. Keep it graceful. Keep it classy. Keep it up, up uh, high vibes like a um like an empress does. All right. Has I, see, I didn't see any emperor on the board. All I'm seeing are kings and queens and, you know what I mean? Nobody, it's no emperors. There's nobody on your level here, all right? Don't worry about them. Sweet results await. Be spirit. 
Moth spirit, surrender now. Surrender to your intuition. Your intuition is telling you who needs to go. It's about time for you to surrender to that. And hummingbird spirit, be here now. Just enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Enjoy where you are. Enjoy this new being true to yourself. This level of authenticity. You know that's that's a uh, that's pretty big. All right. I hope this resonated with you, Capricorn. All right. Um, I might. I might do a career reading. I might do a career reading for you guys because it is your birthday month, all right? Um, but yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, add me on IG. I do personalized readings. Check out that info box below, all right? Um, I actually do career readings over there as well on Etsy. All right, until we meet again, peace.